Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I will be talking about my little project, my little rally project. The Toyota Celica GT4 uh, ST165 Rally Body uh, from Team C. So a little bit of background. One day I was browsing through Tokopedia uh, for some RC stuff, as you do. And I came across a body shell, uh, which is this one here, obviously, from Team C. I thought that, yeah, I, that looks really interesting because I'm a big fan of, you know, 80s, 90s uh, rally cars. And this is a shell that previously you haven't really seen much of. So I thought, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I think I wanted to build this. So then I had to decide on the chassis I wanted to use because I didn't have any rally or touring car chassis at that point. I was considering using the XV01, but um, it's still pretty expensive. So I found a good deal on a TT02 chassis that came with the Porsche 911 Carrera RSR. And so I got that and I built it up and it is Again, I'm also a big fan of Porsches, so it was you know a win-win for me. I wanted to have a Porsche. Uh, I think this was a, a nice way to go because you still get this you know this vintage. I think it's a '73 uh, Carrera. That's this is based on. This was also a nice build. And obviously, the chassis is easy. Build the TTO2. I've I've done a couple before. The body is also relatively easy to to build. I just went for a single color. You're supposed to paint the front bumper and the rear bumper with a fluorescent red. But, uh, you know, I really didn't feel confident in my masking abilities, uh, especially from the inside, so I'm not good at that. So I decided, you know, I'll just do a single color. And the nice thing about this kit is that they actually give you the street version stickers. So you have, the, you know, the, the classic Carrera sticker there. Uh, you have some lines and some other details that you can use to build a road-going version instead of this uh, Martini Porsche. Uh, this martini racing uh, version of it and i figured you know what the heck i'm just gonna go for the racing library and i'm glad i did because it looks really really nice i took some photos it's on my instagram if you want to take a look but yeah i mean it's a, it's a great it's a great body shot to, to have the only thing is now i'm i have the problem of wheelbases being different for the the porsche body and uh, the silica body so for the Celica body, this is a, a basically the long wheelbase, the standard wheelbase, the 257, 258 millimeter wheelbase, compared to the Porsche, which uses the short wheelbase, uh, which is I think I believe it's 251 millimeters. So I mean it's, it's easy to change the the, the wheelbases of the TTO2, but it means that if I wanted to switch to that body, you know, it takes a little bit more effort than just swapping the shells. Some of the details that I've had to do uh, to make this body shell fit here. If I use the standard spacing or width, they're a bit too narrow compared to the body. So they, they kind of sink inside. So I had to use not extenders, but I needed to use the, the wider hex adapters or uh, attachments here. Uh, so for the rear, I actually used uh, with a wide axle that comes with the kit. Um, so I bought uh, C parts, which is where the uh, longer uh, axles are uh, located. I bought two C part trees thinking that I would it would get me four uh, longer axles. It turns out <laughs> one C part tree only contains one longer axle uh, because I think generally the longer axles are only for the rear wheelbase and not the front. So unfortunately the front wheels don't have longer axles on them. They still fit, I mean I can still attach the nuts to them but they're not you know fully screwed in there so I hopefully I'll, I'll get that sorted out soon. So for the body shell itself, from a distance it looks pretty decent but uh, the question is whether these Team C bodies are actually worth getting. Based on this experience uh, it's hard for me to recommend these Team C bodies. I mean, they're, they are cheaper than Tamiya body shells, but not by that much, at least not here. But the quality, I think, is, you know, there's a lot left to be desired uh, compared to Tamiya shells, or I mean, uh, other ones probably, like Killer Body, I think. Yeah, when I got this, I was a bit surprised because the details before I had before I trimmed the, the body shell, I mean, it was very hard to make out where exactly the lines were. 
when I had to trim the, the wheel arches. So I had to do a little bit of guessing. You can kind of make out a little bit of a line some, at some, in some places and kind of you know, figure out that, you know, where you had to cut. I've had to trim some extra parts just because uh, once I put the wheels on, um, you know, the rear is a bit too close. Since I believe, I mean, this is, the body shell is a bit, is not a perfect fit. I mean, it's a 257 millimeter wheelbase, uh, whereas the TTO2 is 258 millimeters. So, you know, it's a millimeter too, too short for the, for the chassis. So I had to cut the rear a bit. Uh, I, th I think I still have to cut it a little bit more. Uh, it doesn't rub against the shell, but I think it needs a little bit more breathing space right here. Maybe it's just that I, didn't do the holes properly. I mean, it's not <laughs> properly centered. So the, the trim lines were not very well done, I, I think. But in terms of the overall shape, uh, the silhouette of the car, I think they, they got this right. I, I, I'm guessing that this is based off the original Tamiya uh, shell. They maybe did a mold based off that, and that's why some of the lines aren't really detailed. But once you get everything trimmed and cut, it looks pretty nice, I think. But the biggest issue I had with, with this body shell were the uh, stickers or the decals. Not so much the sponsor stickers. I mean, the quality of the stickers are okay. I mean, they're not the best. Some, stick, some stickers look kind of blurry, but again, I'm from a distance, you know, it looks okay. It looks pretty decent. I mean, I go on the plus side, I mean, they are pre-cut, so you don't have to spend too much uh, cutting all the, the stickers off of the, the sheet. Well, that's pretty much the only plus point that, that, that it has. Some parts, like for instance here, the name stickers, the white is, you know, it's, it's kind of translucent, so the, so the red paint kind of like bleeds through, so it's not really white, it becomes kind of a pink. But again, the, the biggest issue I have with this is that this, the sticker sheet that you get is not complete at all. Uh, I'm not sure if this was also the case in the original Tamiya kit. I doubt it, but um, so for this sheet, you get all these sponsor sheets to recreate the, the look, but it does not come with any, uh, what do you call these? The uh, window molding lines or stickers here. So all the black stuff here around the windows here for the back, for the, for the A pillars and the whatever pillars are called. I, I don't know the technical names, but all these, all these uh, stickers here are not included. For the grill, neither, you know, you get some, you get this and this and the, the light stickers and that's about it. I mean, that's the only, those are the only body part stickers that you get. So I had to uh, make my own lining stickers here. I just taped over it and used a, a hobby knife to, to trim it out there. So, you know, again, from a distance, I think it looks okay. It serves its purpose. You see the lines are nicely defined. But, you know, if you look it up close, it looks pretty bad. Uh, I don't have the best skills at cutting these stickers, but, you know, whatever. Same thing goes for the uh, side moldings here and the, you know, the bumper moldings. This is all just electrical tape that I that I uh, trimmed for this. So, oh, and one one of the other things was that you get the you know the the race number sticker here. For some reason, you know they give you this part here and they give you the number, but it, they're separate pieces. Normally, at least in my experience previously with the with the Subaru kit, is you know this is usually just one piece. Uh, here it wasn't, which meant that I had a floating number and like the floating you know, rally name here. Fortunately, I had some, some white sticker paper, so I cut my own backing there to make it as one unit. Oh, yeah, by the way, it also doesn't come with any uh, handle, door handlebars, stickers, so I have to, again, use electrical tape for that. Yeah, that, I think that's about it. I mean, uh, another thing that kind of sucks with these bodies is you don't get a manual with it. When it comes to putting all these stickers on the shell, it's either a guessing game or you just have to be, you know, really thorough with your research. Uh, Google all the photos, see all the different, you know, where every sticker or sponsor sticker would go. Luckily, there were, I could find enough uh, images of this car, obviously. Uh, so I, I was able to, I think, get it in the ballpark of what it was supposed to be. There are some stickers that, you know, here it's supposed to say, I think it's a uh, team, Toyota Team Europe or Europe Team Europe Toyota or something like that. Uh, it's supposed to go here, but the sticker that I got was way too long. So if I actually stuck it here, it would go through all the way to the window. Might have been an issue with me 
I'm asking this part wrong. Oh, yeah. And that is also another thing that, not necessarily a bad thing, but I, my previous experience with, with these kind of uh, kits is that normally you get like the, for instance here, like the red markings. Uh, normally they, they give you like stickers for that. I mean, obviously that's not really the best solution for especially these these big areas here but at least it makes it easier in terms of painting you can just paint it white and then just slap the stickers on it i thought that's what was what is what was going to happen so when i painted the body i just did you know white all around and backed it with silver by the time i was going to put the stickers on then i realized oh wait it doesn't come with any of the red parts and i was way too lazy to you know erase or clean the paint again and do it all over again so i ended up just masking the outside and just spray painting it from the outside. The white is, is sprayed from under and the red is all sprayed on top. But again, you don't get any guides, you don't get any masks for this. You do get window masks, so it's okay, but they're not the best quality, so they're also a bit, they don't really cover the, the windows properly. So I had to be extra generous with these electrical tape lining here to, to cover up the, the, the imperfections. Yeah, so I had to, this as well, the front grill, this doesn't come with any stickers or anything, no masking, so this was something I had to, you have to mask yourself, which is not the easiest, I mean, from the inside. Maybe I should have just done this from the outside as well. <laughs> I think that's the way you're supposed to do it. Kind of makes more sense, uh, since it would be more matte than shiny. So that is the shell, that is my quick, quick review. Well, not really quick, but that is my review of the Team C Toyota Celica GT4 uh, ST165 Rally shell would i recommend it not really i mean not if you're looking for something that is easy to make and and looks really nice on the shelf i mean as a basher i mean it's fine because you know it's gonna get wrecked anyway uh and at least it's a little bit cheaper than a tamiya shell so you don't have to be too broken up about it if it does get damaged uh i mean i'm okay with this but you know it took a lot of effort team c bodies uh, I don't think I'm gonna buy another one in the near future. I wanna try killer bodies because I hear that they have you know, killer bodies. All right, thank you guys for watching. For you guys in Indonesia, if you wanna try building this shell in spite of everything I've, I've said about it, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can find it easier. I will catch you on the next video. As always, stay safe and stay tuned.